tag her below because I'm actually going to do this video because she inspired me for these black and white looks. <laughs> Welcome back to Journey with Jackie. Hey, I'm going to tag her below and her channel is called Karen Brit Chick and uh, she's really cool. She lives in uh, Brooklyn, New she York. She did a recent lookbook of some like uh, thrift store finds that she found. I was like, oh yes, that's something that was weird. Oh, I have that in my closet. Let me share with you first. I did buy three recent things from TJ Maxx from the runway department. First thing I bought, now I have this, oh, I know what it was. I'm like, why is this in a cleaner's bag? I just remember why. So, cause I have not worn this yet. So this is actually a, I'm gonna bring it up. It's like a, um, uh, a, a cape jacket and it's like that waterproof, vinyl fabric and so it's no sleeves i'll try it on for you and then the brand is i always say this wrong it's a bruno cecilini jacket and basically it was on clearance it's the only one they had but i just wanted to show you what cute things that i did get from tj maxx from the runway department isn't this nice this is so me, right? Nice, big, loose, oversized. I have a similar type of um, jacket that I got from TJ Maxx Runway two years ago, but it's more, it's definitely more for the winter because it's wool, where this one is like a really nice transitional. So as I go into, you know, into September, October, possibly early November, I could wear this one with like a long sleeve sweater underneath. So I thought this was really cute, but I wanted to show you that one. Okay, so here is the other two things that are gonna be part of this lookbook that I got from TJ Maxx. And I gotta tell you what I did with these two. Okay, so the first thing is these pair of white pants. They're like an off-white and the brand is Philip Leem. And I'm gonna I'm gonna try everything on to show you the look, but it's like a little crisscross look there. And so the uh, the pants were really long. I already took them to the cleaners. I had them hemmed for me. And so I'm gonna put this on as my pants, my black and white. And then this is a in honor of New York and Brooklyn, Karen. This is for you. This is a motorcycle slash bicycle store slash cafe in Brooklyn that my husband and I got a chance to visit last year. And I love the shirt so much that I, I brought the shirt and then it's called Jane Motor. I'm gonna put a clip now of Karen's outfit that she had on with the black t-shirt and some white pants that she had gotten from the thrift store. So here it is. So here's her version of the outfit. And so now here is mine. So what I decided to do, I didn't want to buy anything new because I knew I had some black t-shirts, but um, I didn't want to just tuck them inside of my pants. At the cleaners were like, you want me to do what? And I was like, yes, it's okay. I actually had her cut it. So I actually had her cut it to exactly where I wanted to, to cut off in the front and then how I wanted to sort of scallop in the back. So I have it on now for you so you can see. So it fits me perfect where I could wear any type of high-waisted sweatpants or um, in this case, these pants and then the scallops right below. So the same way how I typically wear my t-shirts tucked in, you know, right in the front and then hanging in the back, I just still I do the same thing with my t-shirt and it's worked out perfect so I don't have to tuck it in. It can stay nice and neat and streamlined without adding any more bulk around my waist area. And then that is my black and white outfit. So this is look number one from my black and white with the pop. And I thought, oh, okay, now I did just tell you to add a pop, right? So here's the thing, you can add a pop with a couple of different things. Not every outfit is gonna have the same pop. So in this particular case with a pop, I thought pop would be cute, would be a scarf. 
So you could wear, I happen to have one like a little red and bright one now. You could throw on something that has more color with a little black in it. So I think that would be perfect. And then this particular scarf has like all the colors, like it's yellow, black, white. That is look one. Now onward to look two. We all have this in our closet and that is a black baby doll dress. And if you recall, I did purchase this one from uh, Saks over the Christmas break when I shared with you that it was gonna be perfect going into spring. So I know it's really hard to tell, but it's just a standard really thin baby doll dress. And I'll link the the information below on who it was. It's number 21 is the, is the name of the, the brand. But anyway, so here it is. So black baby doll dress we all, whether it's short sleeve, long sleeve, you have one of these in your closet. So here's what we're gonna do. To make this one, to kind of make it more summary going into fall, I thought what I'm gonna do is this. So I am going to pair this with some black and white little kitten heels that I bought also Christmas break. And if you don't wanna do that, then here's what else you could do. How about if we pair the black dress with crossbody black and white bag and a little pop of color with the raspberry slides by Valentino. So let's try this on. Okay, onward to look number three. We all have this in our closet, I promise you. And that is white jeans. I do have a few pair. We can never have too many because I know they're all fit differently. They look differently, but here's what I'm gonna do for a black and white look. So I'm gonna pair my one of my white pair of jeans with the t-shirt that I already have on, can't go wrong. And then I'm gonna change it up a couple different ways to kind of show you a different example. So let's do this. The first look is this. Let's, we have on the white jeans, we have on the white tee, and then I'm also pairing it with one of my long Zara white tunic shirts that you guys know I love that I've recently purchased a second one in. So I'm pairing it with that one. So I thought with the pop of color with the black and white, I have on my black Hermes belt kit, and then I have on the same Gucci Prince Towns in black. And then for the pop of color, I could just grab my uh, Hermes Birkin for that little pop of color. So I thought that's one look. Now here's another easy way that we could change that look around. So how about we do this? So we went from that to now we're gonna change to another easy one. So keeping with the white jeans on, we could throw on our uh, a color sweater. That would be really nice. I happen to have this like sort of pretty peach one and I could still keep on the same shoes and the same belt kit or what you could do, and then I could just wear the black and white crossbody keeping the seam the same. Or if you have like a, a black and white long sleeve sweater, proud of myself because I have definitely been adding more color to my lipsticks lately. And this is the one that I recently bought by NARS. Ooh, look at that pretty color. Yes, that definitely gives you the, yes. It is so pretty. I'll link the color below for you, but it is a really gorgeous color. So, <clears throat> so you can definitely throw that on as your pop of color. If everything is kept neutral with the black and white, then let your lips do the talking. So anyway, so that is look number three. I have one last look that I wanna share with you. I am so excited about this one because I didn't have to buy anything new and I already had it in my class, so that's why I'm so excited. Okay, so here's the last one. And it is, I'm gonna put Karen's picture first. She had on these um, shorts that she had got from the Thrift Find, uh, a little bodice shirt, and then she had on this um, oversized men's blazer. So here is my version of it. And that is my black leather shorts 
that I've recently purchased over the summer and a, a strapless old tank top that I've had for many years and a white blazer that I had gotten from Zara's last year that I go showed you guys in my summer haul. So very basic oversized Zara white jacket. So I thought this would be perfect as inspiration from the one that Karen shared with us. It is so cute. It's that, okay. my quick black and white with the pop wherever you decide to do it lookbook. I thank you guys so much for watching. Once again, big kudos to Karen and Britchick for being so inspiring, making us laugh. Keep doing what you're doing in New York. We're gonna to continue to follow you as well. And uh, also, if you haven't done so, make sure you leave me any comment, thumbs up, and subscribe. I really appreciate it. And my Instagram is below as well. Thank you guys, I love you, and I'll see you in a few days. Bye.